Oh my gosh. Okay. At least it wasn't the. Oh. <gasps> What's up, you guys? Hey, everyone. Welcome to our channel today. You guys, we hope you're all doing well, staying safe, staying healthy. We are so excited for today's vlog because we are doing something super fun. We could not be more excited about you guys. We are celebrating the beautiful moms on my side of the family, which will be really fun. So we're celebrating my mom, Glenna, who a lot of you know and love. Get ready to see her smiling face. <laughs> we're gonna be celebrating my sister, Tiffany, who has kids who we live with that a lot of you guys know as well. My sister-in-law, Kim, with little baby Scotty, and Scotty is coming, you guys. So we cannot wait for that. And then my soon-to-be sister-in-law, Paige, as well with her two cute little kids, who you guys, if you've seen Dave's engagement, you've seen them as well. We are coming out here to this beautiful park. It's such a nice night right now. I have some really cute decorations I'm excited about. But you guys, we do have some bad news. The main backdrop got away from us. <laughs> It blew away. Did you ever tell them what happened here? <laughs> yeah, so I feel bad, but we were unloading stuff out of the car and we have these balloons that spell out mom and gold and these they're really pretty. Giant big M O M. I thought Brittany said that they were weighted down and I was grabbing a table and chairs out of it and I turned around and set those down and when I turned back around, one of the M's is floating away. There it went and now it's stuck up in a tree. <laughs> yeah, it's stuck up in a tree directly above us. So we can't use any of the letters, sadly. That was gonna be behind the table. I blew it. Jared totally blew it, but <laughs> I feel it's so not bad. It's not his fault at all. You know what, when you're throwing parties, sometimes things like that happen, so that's okay. I have some other really cute things that I'll show you guys. It's gonna be really interesting because we're gonna have to still social distance, which is so hard to do when you're around family, but at least we'll all get to be together. This is gonna be the first time that pretty much my whole family besides Michelle and Nate who live out in New York are gonna be together. So it'll be really fun. Can't wait to celebrate these moms, but Guys, the party's in like 30 minutes, so I have to start setting up right now. Guys, it's a little windy out here, but let me show you what I did. So I just laid out a white tablecloth, and then I had this cute red one, and then I just found really cute wrapping paper pattern and I cut out two squares of it and I put it right here and then I have these cute picnic banners. I thought this was so cute and like springy from Mother's Day picnic. And so I'm just kind of trying to have these drape over but the wind keeps blowing them. But the idea is for them to kind of drape. So I'll kind of play around with it but that's kind of the base of the table. I picked up some flowers from Costco so I'm gonna make a few little simple flower arrangements. And then we just gotta get the food on here, but it's looking really cute. All right guys, the wind is not letting up right now. As you can see, this is an absolute train wreck. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh. Oh boy, this is frustrating. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe this. How you doing, baby? This sucks. I worked so hard on this and there's so many, nothing is staying down. Everything is just blowing away. We had all this stuff weighted down on the tablecloths. It's blowing off. This is blowing away. All the decorations are blowing away. We got a balloon up in the trees. This wind is just an absolute joke. Jared, if we put the table, Help me put the table cloth on the legs. Oh, that's okay. Like okay. If we whipped it up just a teensy bit. Okay. At least we have cute gifts for the moms. These are candles, so these aren't blowing anywhere. We got Brett and Maddie helping holding it down. Oh my gosh, we don't know what to do. This is bad, you guys. We have I no idea what to do to keep these down. Yeah, Britt has shed a tear already. Oh boy. It's like a tornado. <laughs> oh. It was literally calm, like. 10 minutes ago. So we're expecting the guests to come literally any minute now and it is blowing like crazy. Oh boy. This is just getting worse and worse. Just then. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, no! 
biggest gust of wind. It just knocked over the flower arrangements, everything. Oh. The chips. It blew everything over. Oh my gosh. Okay. At least it wasn't the... Oh. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the aftermath. All the decorations, as you can see, are gone. The flowers are just hammered now, broken in half. All right, guys, the wind is awful. We are packing up right now and going to Fort Berlin headquarters. Well, guys, I don't know if you can tell from our hair, <laughs> wind blowing hair. <laughs> storm came at, we had family members coming from other parts of the cities like from down south and they said as you're driving towards Salt Lake you just see it like engulfed <laughs> in this cloud and it's this wind storm literally just came out of nowhere and ruined everything it's literally been the most beautiful blue sky warm day <laughs> yeah yeah I was legitimately like sweating earlier today because it was just so hot oh and now it's just like so windy, it's cold, and there's dust everywhere. All of the flowers that we had set up. Tipped over like three times. <laughs> and broke, so they're gone, they're out. <laughs> you know guys, oh. that's just how life goes, you know? We are headed over to Borboleta to have this little picnic inside now. <laughs> and the tricky thing is, is our little niece Scotty, who's walking now, which is so fun, but as you guys know, she is super susceptible to germs because she has Sia. So you have to be really careful with her. Luckily, there's a lot of room over here where we're going that hopefully she can run around and still have fun. It's so exciting because everyone's going to be together for the first time. But you guys, it is sad because we were so excited to just play out in the park. We have bubbles and all these fun plants and it all just went to waste. <laughs> Thank you, windstorm. Guys, this is just one of those things I was telling Brittany. It's so bad that all we can do is just laugh about it. Yeah, That's... I was probably laughing a little bit. But, I mean, I was laughing a little at the time. Like, is this really happening? The, the balloons were gone. Flowers blew over. Not that they just blew over, but they all snapped but everything, at the stem. All my table decorations, all, all my linens, everything. It just looked like a complete complete disaster <laughs> and all my cute sisters and sister-in-laws were like it looks so cute and Jared's like everyone's lying to you it looks like a disaster <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I was just making her laugh a little bit. They, they could tell it was set up cute. Was, <laughs> the intention was there, you guys. We wanted to be beautiful for all the moms, but you know what? We're going to make the best of it, so we'll head over and we'll get set up here. So for those of you who do not know or are new to our channel, Brittany's family has a company called Borboletta and they have an office space here that we're able to use, which is super nice and super convenient. Although we wanted to do something outside, fortunately the weather got worse and we had to pack it up inside, but at least thankfully we have a place to go. All right guys, we have the best surprise coming right now. Michelle and Nate from New York actually flew in a couple weeks ago. No one knows, everyone thinks they're in New York still. Anyway, we were expecting them any minute now. Brittany has no idea that Michelle and Nate are coming. It's going to be awesome. Brittany's so shocked. Were you pretty surprised? I was shocked. 
<laughs> I was talking to her. I thought on FaceTime. Well, I guess it was FaceTime, right? And then they, she said, turn around. And I thought, turn around which way, you know? And there they were from New York, you guys. Oh, oh my God. It was so fun. But yeah, I was way shocked, you guys. Wow, I still can't believe So babe, how does it feel to be left out of the loop? I cannot believe that. <laughs> you guys, I had no idea. My sister and I, we've never kept a secret like that before, <laughs> ever. Like this is crazy. <laughs> this is so, so crazy. So I found out through Brett. Yeah, and when Brett, did you find out? Well, I found out at the park. Brett called me. Just barely? Yeah. Oh, I thought you knew the whole time. Like, mm. so you guys, she's been here for over two weeks and she, I had no idea. They actually got tested for coronavirus and it came back negative. Yeah, I guess it's a saliva test, but it's really crazy. But the business that is shipping these tests out is actually here in Utah and Michelle helps oversee their warehouse and we work with them at our company. So she was able to get, her and Nate were able to get tests, which is incredible. Yeah, which is super rare, but they were able to get tests and it, anyway, they came back negative. They've been here for over two weeks. I mean, they are probably the safest of all of us here. Yeah, we're still social distancing, obviously, but this is just crazy. <laughs> Brittany had no idea. I was shocked. I started crying. Oh my gosh. We just went from that crazy situation with the picnic. I had like my sunglasses on. Like, it's a crazy. So when everything was just blowing away and there's a train wreck at the park, I went over and talked to Brett and I was just like, oh my gosh, like none of this is going to matter when everyone sees Michelle and Nate. <laughs> my brother is getting married on Saturday. They even said how they weren't gonna be able to make it out here obviously for the <laughs> wedding or anything. So this was just like mind blowing. Yeah, it's so crazy. Awesome. So Nate works in the financial banking at Goldman Sachs and he is just busy, busy, busy. But he got special permission to come out here and it's just amazing how they made it work. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, you guys. Wow, did this day turn around quick. <laughs> so cool. I can't believe you kept this from me. Yes, Brittany had no idea. Crazy. Bella and Sammy are going to be performing for us. We did not know this was going to happen. They came in and set up everyone's chairs for them, social distancing. Yep, we're all six feet apart from all the families. This is so cute. <laughs> A night. This was crazy. It started out awful. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we put a lot of work into that and then to have it be destroyed wasn't the best. But, you know, we were really happy that we actually had a place we could go and still social distance and everything. Moving it over to that other location, it still turned out awesome. I'm so glad we got to celebrate my cute mom and all the moms in my family. Honestly, I look up to every single one of them. They are just all incredible moms and I could go on and on about them, but I've already cried tonight enough. So <laughs> I'm especially grateful for my cute mom, Glenna. You guys, any of you that have seen her on the vlogs know she's just an angel and I'm super lucky to have had her raise me as a mom. So anyways, I love you mom. And I love all my sisters and sister-in-laws that are moms. They're all just such great examples to me. Then to top it off, you guys, that surprise by Michelle was just crazy. Having my sister Michelle and Nate surprise our whole family. Surreal. Crazy. So yeah, for anyone that's new to our channel here, so Michelle's my little sister. Her and her husband, Nate, moved out to New York right before this whole virus thing for his job. What's crazy though is he got 
permission to come out to Utah. And you guys, my brother is getting married this Saturday. So they are gonna be here for the wedding and it happens to be Mother's Day as well. So it's just super exciting. As we said earlier, they quarantined for the past two weeks. It's crazy. She's been here for two weeks and I had no idea. And they've already gotten tested for the virus as well and they are negative. But you guys, we need to get to bed. It has definitely been a long day, an exciting day. Lots of emotions going on here. <laughs> but tomorrow is another super exciting day. It's our four year anniversary. So we are excited to celebrate that. And so I think we're gonna call it a night. But we love you guys. If any of you are new here, welcome to our channel. Please subscribe, come join our family. You don't wanna miss out on any more storms or craziness <laughs> or crazy surprises from <laughs> halfway across the country. We love you all and we will see you all next time. See you guys, love ya, bye. Turn around. Yeah.